welcome to this presentation from the Wisconsin First Detector Network. This video was adapted from a Wisconsin First Detector Network training session. In this video, you'll hear Brian Huddleson from the Plant Disease Diagnostic Clinic talk about Southern Blight. It's one that we've seen on occasion, but what has typically died off when we had more severe winters is this one's a fungal disease called Southern Blight. It's a general rot pathogen. And again, a very wide host range. So anything that's herbaceous in the plant of this pathogen is dead. And we oftentimes bring it in on things like hostas, which can be produced farther south and then brought into the state for uh, sale. But again, if you're planting these plants in a kind of a natural area, um, you could have this pathogen move into other native herbaceous plants. It produces these little tiny sort of reddish to tannish depending upon host, almost blackish sclerotia, these are rusting structures, that will help the organism survive. And it's a great way to move this organism around. You can pick these up very easily on the soles of your shoes. And it not only produces these on plants, but also on the ground, on mulch. And so you can pick these up, move them from place to place in your garden, in a native area, and it can stay kind of dormant for a while and then all of a sudden pop up. First time I ever saw this disease was at the Allen Centennial Garden here on campus. They had about a 40 square foot area of herbaceous plants that was totally wiped out by the disease. And they had problems with the disease for about six years thereafter because they had moved it around uh, on tools and wheelbarrows and shoes. So you have to be very, very careful. And again, with a fungal disease like this, decontaminating with 70% alcohol is a good thing to keep in mind. You can also use 10% bleach. But remember that on metal tools, that will be corrosive. And this can be a vegetable pathogen as well. We had an awesome sample come in on stored uh, beets a couple of winters ago. And so they had a contamination in their actual production area. And they lost these particular roots that they were going to use for producing seed the following year. And it's a, a devil of a pathogen to get rid of. It's one of the few where it's massive eradication. You basically the limit where you can find all these little sclerotia, go out about two feet, start at the edge, remove everything, roots and all, and about one to two inches of the soil. And you bag it all up in place and move it out and landfill it. And this is one of the few diseases where I recommend and come in with a fungicide after the fact to try to get rid of it. You're probably going to have to do that for several years to eventually eradicate it. Hopefully, if you have this, we'll have a really harsh winter that following winter because cold temperatures, if we have our more traditional at least what I consider traditional Wisconsin winters that I remember as a kid where we got down routinely to minus 20 and it stayed there for a while. That will help eradicate this organism. But with our milder winters, we're seeing the survival of the state. And this is how you get a hold of me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video from the Wisconsin First Detector Network. To learn more about our network or to access additional information about invasive species in Wisconsin, please visit our website or contact us.